Welcome everybody, this is the boy Dredo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka the real AG, Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the safe house reload mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V single player. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below, so make sure you download this mod. This mod does require enable all interiors. So make sure you do download this too. Once you have completed that process, then all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now over here, as you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements. So make sure you do install your requirements. If you don't know how to install the requirements, then I do have a tutorial video inside my description on how to install the most important files inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So once you have completed that, then all you got to do is go to your scripts folder, make sure that you do spell scripts correct, and make sure that they are all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. And make sure you do have the latest native UI.dll file that's inside my description below as well. Once you have finished with that, then open up your uh, safe house mod extract folder. Okay, and then all you got to do is select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Make sure that you do the safe house mod first and then exit out of your extract folder and now open up your enable all interiors extract folder and then after that select all the files that's inside that extract folder and drag it inside your scripts folder now this will pop up all you got to do is replace and then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder and then exit out of your enable all interiors extract folder right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game so as you guys can see it says down the bottom loading online and your game will freeze okay and there it goes and now it's back on so when you go into the game your game will freeze for only a few seconds okay so don't worry so once you're inside the game as you can see when you open up your map that's the purple icons is the safe house uh, mod okay so these are the safe house that you can buy and that you can uh, actually have okay you can disable them inside your ini file i'll show you that once we get back to the desktop uh, so those are all of the safe house that you can have okay but i'm going to show you guys how to enter the safe house okay so we're going to go to the closest one over here and we are back again so we are in this house over here and the house that we are at is the one that is just nearby franklin's house and we are going to buy this house so to buy the house all you got to do is go to the door press e and then go to options then buy the house and then press e again and then now go to options and now you can enter the building and now there you go and now this is your nice little house over here and now you can go downstairs and you can go for sleep you can change your clothes or outfits and you can come over here you can go in the garage if you want to it's totally up to you uh, enter the garage and there you go 
and you can store your vehicles in here press E again go to options house options and you can exit the garage as well and now you will be over here now all of the safe houses is the same so I'm not going to show you guys all the houses but they are basically all the same so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod and we're back again guys so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod but before I do go I want to show you on how to disable your safe house so if you want to disable all your safe houses but not one then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location go to your scripts folder and then go to your safe house reloaded and then now all you gotta do is go to disabled house.ini and now you can choose which house you want to disable all you gotta do is go to true and change that to false and that's all you gotta do and make sure you exit and save it as well and then on your map it will disappear okay so make sure you guys do that okay so that's how you disable your safe house so i hope you guys do enjoy that that mod is an awesome mod i will be uploading more hk h191 mods so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys do enjoy it so with that said if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.